Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I show you how to make your own texture sheets with cos clay. Cos clay is a brand new polymer clay on the market and if you want to find out more about this clay then check out my cos clay first impressions video. Cos clay is a great clay for making your own texture sheets because when it is thin it stays flexible and it's also strong and doesn't break easily. Before I show you how to make your own clay sheets, I want to show you what I have prepared in advance when I was experimenting for this video. For this sheet I used this ammonite and as you can see it doesn't work very well when you try to use the sheet for texturing. Mainly because it hasn't remained flat and left these dents in the back. This makes it harder to make impressions on the clay. For the next one I used this sea urchin. The impressions are very fine too fine for polymer clay as you can see. This might actually work better with silver clay but I haven't tried that yet. I couldn't find any other shells or similar to press into the clay but I suggest that you choose something that will leave a good impression on the clay and also keep the clay flat. I wanted to see if I could make small cat and dog stamps with the cos clay to use with either polymer clay or silver clay. I drew the animals first and made them smaller on the computer. Then I traced them on the clay with a fine ball stylus and then I refined the lines and added more detail where necessary. Doing this in soft clay is not so easy and if you try this you have to make sure that you go deep into the clay so it can show an impression. As you can see it worked well enough with this Westie and this cat face. But my lines were not deep enough with these two cats and the details didn't come out well on such a small scale. I think it's easier to work a bit bigger and with less detail. So if you want to try this, bear this in mind. You can also just use the ball stylus to simply doodle on your clay and see what happens. I also made these two texture sheets. The grey clay is firmer than the beige one other than that there is not much of a difference between them. As you can see both texture plates give a good impression. I have mostly used ball stylus tools and a few of these carving tools. I have also found this nut and bolt which I want to use to stamp into the clay. You can use any found objects that leave a good impression on the clay. Have a look around your house. You might have lots of useful things lying around. To make your own sheets make sure to condition your clay well and run it through the thickest setting of your pasta machine. I prepared these in advance. Decide how big you want your sheets to be. I also keep some of my cut off clay to use as test clays to test out my impressions of the various tools I use. Keep your clay on baking paper or deli sheets so you don't have to pick it up but can move it around. Start wherever you want on the sheet and have fun with the process. I find this quite relaxing.
I think I'm finished with this one. I don't think I want to add more to it.
These sheets are now ready for baking. When you want to use your texture sheets, make sure you roll out your clay on a thick setting. Spritz the clay and texture sheet with a little bit of water and press the clay on top of the sheet. Add the baking sheet and use your roller. Roll firmly over the sheet. You might have to try this a few times until you are happy with the imprint. It took me about three attempts with mine. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a go at making your own texture sheets. If you have any questions let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like, subscribe and share it. Thank you for watching and happy claying. Until next time.